Hey, welcome everybody. Welcome to the Money School Essentials three-day flagship training event preview webinar. I know that's a mouthful, but that's what we're here to talk about here this evening. Uh, so I appreciate everybody coming on. Those of you over on the West Coast, I know it's a uh, late afternoon for you. So I appreciate you hopping on and looks like Angie's down in Mexico. So we got, we're going international tonight. So pretty cool. So my name's Stephen Nagy. I work uh, hand in hand with Chris Noggle, who a lot of you probably know if you're here right now, probably been on our YouTube channels, on social media, but I met Chris back in 2019 and we decided to partner together on a couple businesses, launched a training education company company doing live events. And uh, when 2020 rolled around and COVID hit the world, uh, we kind of really shut things down and really had to pivot because we were doing live in-person events. And then we were no longer allowed to do live in-person events. So what we've done over the last several years is really hone in on the virtual side of the world and, um, and really just putting a lot of education out there that's very relevant for the times that we're in. We've had literally thousands of students now over the last several years come through this Money School three-day training class and really jumpstart their journey into taking back control of your money and solving your money problem. So those of you that are new to our network, new to what we call the campfire, welcome. I think that your mind's going to be blown by not only what I'm going to share with you here this evening over the next hour or so, uh, but what you're going to learn at the three-day training this coming weekend, as well as everything else that we put out um, for free. We put out some of our best education uh, on the YouTube channel and on social media, um, completely free of charge. Uh, but what we're doing with this three-day training, we've been doing it now, like I said, since 2020. Uh, we do it typically quarterly, although the rest of this year, we might not have time to do another one. So this might be the last one. Uh, but every one is a little bit different. Why? Because times change. The economy changes. Policies change. Presidents change. Everything changes all the time. That's the that's called the world of financial literacy. It's a roller coaster of ups and downs and volatility, and it's constantly moving and adapting. So that's what we bring to the table, Chris and myself, our entire team, Andrew, you just saw Lon. This is all we do all day, every day is study this stuff, take action, apply it, and then share it with all of you. So we're going to get into some of that here this evening. I do want to make this a little more interactive and fun. Um, so, you know, if you don't mind in the chat box, I know a lot of people are introducing themselves, where they're from. So as we go tonight, if you need anything, put it in the chat box. If you have any questions, put it in the Q&A box. We'll make sure to answer all of those as we go. But right now, just to kick things off, in the chat box, if you're brand new to our network, you've never taken any of our trainings, you've never done anything with us before, just write like new in the chat box. Just let me see who on here is new right now. Or if you've been through a three-day training or you've maybe started an infinite banking policy with us or something like that, put in the chat box what you've done with us. If you're a past student, um, anything like that, just so we can start understanding who we are. Because I guarantee you there's a lot of very successful people in the chat box here tonight that are looking to take their business to the next level, take their investments to the next level. And then we have a lot of students that have been around for a long time. Um, I see Tess commenting in right now. Tess has been on lots of trainings, been taking action for several years. We've been able to help Tess actually quit her full-time W-2 job, take control of her money, and now she's doing all kinds of awesome stuff. And um, so I love to see that. We see... Uh, all right, the chat box is going crazy. So I love to see it, guys. So a lot of you that are new, can't wait to share with you here this evening what we got uh, going on, all right? So let's go ahead and dig into some of this stuff, all right? So again, my name's Stephen Nagy. Just real quick background, we're here for you, not for me, but I have been doing this now for about 15 years. So what do I mean by doing this? Well, financial education. For me, it started out of college becoming a personal financial advisor. So I was fully licensed, Series 7, Series 66, and really learned the traditional way to that, that people look at investing, what financial advisors tell you to do, what the masses uh, do out there. And so I really learned that side of the world. And so I did that for several years. And I really enjoyed working with clients. I loved hearing people's stories. I love helping them figure out how they can create something for themselves and their families for the future, for retirement, how they can live their lives. And as my job as a financial advisor went, is I would meet with a client and we would start digging into hopes and dreams. You know, what does retirement look for? Look like for you? Post, you know, tell me that picture. Like, 
Let's let's paint that pretty picture of what life looks like if you're financially secure. So that's what being a financial advisor would entail. And then we would take what that picture looks like and we would kind of reverse engineer it, okay? So this is where you want to be one year. Well, where are you today? What are you doing now? How much are you saving? What are you investing in? How much do you already have put away? And then how can we grow that to accomplish what you want to accomplish? Well, as a lot of you probably know, and the way the story goes is the plan to get you to that beautifully painted picture, a lot of times just doesn't work out that way. And it's probably happened to a lot of you on this call, whether it's life happening, whether it's, you know, something that we can't plan on or, or is unexpected, something like a divorce or a death or something, you know, some kind of disaster occurs in your job or something with the economy, like where 2008 happened and everything crashed and came boiling down. I mean, I was a firsthand witness to a lot of that, which we'll talk about. And, and so whether it's something unexpected like COVID happening, I mean, how many people either lost jobs when COVID hit or completely changed the trajectory of their lives? Like I said, Chris and I partnered together, created a company. And when COVID hit, it completely destroyed everything that we had planned. So we had to change the entire business model and everything that we were doing. So, you know, wh whether it's, you know, something that happens in your life, you know, what happens in the world, uh, natural disasters, hurricanes, there's so many different things that can go wrong out there. And then on top of that, you know, when we look at like the way that investing is taught, you know, invest in the stock market and over time, your money's going to grow and put your money in a 401k. Well, there's lots of challenges with that as well, because what happens if you're doing okay financially with investing and then something like 2008 happens and you lose 50, 60% of what you, your nest egg that you thought you were going to have there to live on. Well, all of a sudden that lifestyle you thought you were going to live no longer is available to you and the whole thing has to change and again I, this is what i would go through as a financial advisor and it was it was kind of disheartening because we live in the richest country the world has ever known i don't know how many of you believe that we just celebrated memorial day over the weekend and all of our heroes fallen heroes that protected us and give us the way of life and thank god for our military and and everything that we have in this country so when i see statistics like the Social Security Administration tells us, when you take 100 people in the country today and nine, 90 out of 100 people are not going to be able to retire financially secure in the lifestyle that they want to, you know, that's an issue. That's a challenge. So as a financial advisor, trying to have people invest their traditional way and then them not being able to achieve their goals or have to push back retirement or completely change their lifestyle today, it's like, man, what am I doing here? So I started, you know, I was young. I didn't have a family at the time. I was in my early to mid twenties. And so, you know, I started studying, okay, well, what do the wealthy do? You know, I would have some wealthy clients that come in. Well, what are they doing? And I started exploring different avenues. So I started reading um, things that are not taught in college, that are not taught traditionally in this country. So I started to study people like Robert Kiyosaki, who later I actually had the opportunity to teach with and speak with on stages and just incredible guy. People like Tony Robbins, um, you know, and there's there's all these different investors. I could go on and on. You know, I, I look at my, my bookshelves back here and some of the different names of people that I've studied, people like R. Nelson Nash and people like Ray Dalio. And so, so, and, and like the Rockefellers, what would the Rockefellers do? And banking with the Rockefellers and this, the Morgans and the, you know, the, the Chases and these families. And so what do they do? And so I started understanding, okay, well, when it comes to wealth, you know, where are people putting their money? And it really opened my eyes to, you have to own a business. You have to have some kind of business. I'll talk about a number of reasons why that's the case. You have to own real estate. Okay, why do all these wealthy people own so much real estate? And what does that do? You have to be able to take advantage of what's available to us that's just not taught to us. And that's what money school is at the end of the day. That's what controlling our wealth is. So what we do with our money school three-day training event is we're going to teach you how to take that control. And we don't have time to do it over three days. That's why I'm starting this here tonight. These preview webinars are like prerequisites to, to, to go to the three day. So how do we control our wealth? Where is our money? How do we control that? So then we can deploy it out in these various investments that I'm going to teach you. So this is all stuff we're going to talk about uh, right now tonight. All right. So those of you that don't know my business partner, Chris Noggle, when I first met him, um, this is one of the, the quotes on the screen. It's never about your actual resources. It's how resourceful you can be. And what I found when it comes to business, when it comes to success, is we have to create what are called win-win situations. 
every business that I've ever started since I learned about entrepreneurship back in 2006, every business was to solve somebody else's problem and create win-win situations. Because when I started to study this stuff, that's how successful people do it. So I just wanted to go out there and mimic what successful people do. And as I started to really learn more and more about what wealthy people do, I said, okay, well, not only do I want to mimic what the wealthy people do, but I want to mimic what some of these successful industries do. So I started studying banking. What do banks do? How do banks make money? And that's where you see my hat right here, which I'm wearing my hat tonight because all of you that are on here right now, we have a really cool bonus for you for being on. Those of you attending the three-day, we're going to actually send you a special edition BYOB, Become Your Own Banker hat um, or sweatshirt if you'd rather have a sweat a uh, hoodie. So I'll talk about that in a second, just a little little teaser right there. But everyone that's on, make sure you stay because I'm going to give you this bonus here. Just So that's why I have my hat on tonight, though, is what do banks do? Why should I become my own bank? Why should I be my own banker? Why should I create this banking system? So we'll talk about that. So we just started mimicking what do the wealthy do? What do the banks do? And what I came to find out is it's not complicated. It's not hard. Anybody on here right now can do it. I saw Tess commenting a minute ago in the chat box. Tess knew nothing about any of this stuff when she came to learn from us at Money School. And all she did was she would study it, she would implement it, she would take action, and then she would move on to the next one. And she just started, and over, the, over years, guess what? Now she's in a much better position than she was several years ago. And that's what it's all about. So we'll talk about this stuff as we get going. I just wanted to kind of lay that out there. And the reason I love this quote right here is because we do have so many different people on this webinar right now. If I had time, I would go through it out. And, you know, if those of you that wanted to share, I'm not going to do this, but if I was, you know, all of you, I guarantee are starting in a different position. So some of you right now might be living paycheck to paycheck. Some of you right now might have a W-2 job and you're just exploring ways to start creating a side income, start getting yourselves out of debt. Maybe some of you have a bunch of debt. You're looking to dig your way out of the debt, okay? I can show you exactly how to get out of debt a lot quicker while still building wealth. We do that through what's called the money multiplier, the infinite banking concept. So that's just one little way. So some of you might be in debt. Some of you might be learning ways to get out. But some of you might be on the other side of the fence where maybe you have money put away. Maybe you're just looking at being smarter with that money. Keep more of the money you're making. Maybe you're making good money right now, but you feel like the more money you make, the more money goes out the door and the less you're left with at the end of each month and at the end of each year. So how do we still live that lifestyle while still building wealth for the future where we don't feel like we're just losing all of our money. So we can do that through becoming the bank as well. Very, very important. And then, you know, maybe how do you pay less in taxes? Maybe your W-2 job, you've done really well over the last few years. I talk to a lot of clients that are like that. So maybe you're in the position now where you're just like, well, man, I'm paying so much in taxes right now. It's killing me, which taxes are one of those wealth killers we're going to talk about in just a second. So how do I save on that? Uh, you know, how do I get out of the volatility of the stock market? I mean, how many of you with 401ks lost at least 20% last year, and you're probably on track to lose uh, again this year? I mean, we just got out of this debt ceiling debacle that's been going on, which at the end of the day is so irrelevant because a deal was always going to be made. It's never going to be for the benefit of the American people. So we need to control our money. Like this is all stuff that goes into it. So we want to start eliminating these wealth killers, volatility, inflation, taxes from our lives. So those of you riding that stock market, riding those waves, and you're just sick of it. Those clients that are on here right now that have learned about the private money club, for example, how to safely invest and grow your wealth at consistent 10, 12, 15% returns, you know, safely with your money backed by a hard asset where if everything goes wrong, you can still recoup your money through um, owning that asset right there. So things like that, uh, that we can teach you that we, we talk about all the time in the webinars, but getting rid of that volatility. I mean, what would this look like over the last two years now going into the next two years, instead of riding this ups and downs of the stock market, you're just getting a nice consistent 15% gross uh, growth on your on your money. Every now and then you find an opportunity to pop up where you can make 50, 60% um, or, or more, you know, these are things that unless you're out there and you're around this campfire, as we call it, you would never even know exist. So that's what money school is. That's why we're here. Uh, that's why Chris and I are here to bring you money school. There's so much opportunity that's coming right now. Opportunity is always out there. You know, we, we talk about the pillars of education. 
what are the pillars of education? And we've really boiled it down to these three different areas. So we have real estate, we have money, and we have legacy. So at the end of the day, what does this look like for you? Okay. So why real estate? Why is real estate such an important aspect when it comes to growing and preserving wealth? To me, again, there's so many different areas of real estate. Okay. So let me just hit a couple of those. So, you, so we're all on the same page here. All right. So when we say real estate, put in the chat box, let's make this a little interactive real fast. So when I say real estate investing, what does that mean to you? Put it in the chat box. Like if I'm like, hey, I'm going to teach you to be a real estate investor. What do you think that I'm talking about right now? And then I'll tell you why I love real estate. Okay, cash flow and equity. Absolutely, Don. Uh, Chris said cash flow. Stanley said controlling property, owning property, uh, buying houses using seller finance. Okay, passive income, lending, long-term landlord or short-term rentals. Okay, so rentals, flipping properties. So you guys are all talking about different ways to create income with real estate. But what about the different types of real estate? All right. So let's dig into this for just a second. All right. So when it comes to creating wealth multiple ways, of course we can do that. But when it comes to specifically real estate. So here are some different things that we're going to teach you at least on the three day about being a real estate investor. Okay. So we're going to teach you about wholesaling. So, and, and again, before there's everyone on this call starting in a different position, but one of the beautiful things about real estate is there's different ways to invest in real estate that will help both sides of that coin, both sides of that fence. So I'll give you a couple examples we're going to teach you during the three day. So wholesaling, those of you that are maybe in some debt, maybe looking for a side business to create some additional income, looking to generate additional uh, money for yourself, for your family. Wholesaling, if you're starting out with not a lot right now, is an awesome strategy. What wholesaling is, is basically you become a marketer and you learn how to negotiate real estate transactions. And what you do is you negotiate a deal on a property. So you find a house, you negotiate the deal, and you put that property under contract. But you don't either have the means or the time or the knowledge to then close on that property, get all the work done, and flip that property uh, for a profit, okay? That's what we call a fix and flip. Now, it's not the money that's holding you back from doing it because I can teach you private money borrowing where you're borrowing money from private money lenders, which are on this call right now without any of your own money necessarily. And to secure that thing using other people's money from the purchase to the flip cost, rehab cost to closing costs, holding costs and everything involved. But maybe you don't have the, the knowledge to do that yet. So wholesaling is a great way to just kind of really knock some of these out. So what you do is you put the property under contract and before you close on it, you sell the contract to another investor. That investor might be looking to do the fix and flip on it. Maybe that's an investor looking to create a rental property. So they buy it from you. We have bought a lot of properties from wholesalers in the past because they do that side of it. And I'm, I'm happy to pay five to 10 to 15 to $20,000 because it's still a good deal for me, either on the fix or flip or on the rental side. The numbers still make sense. So for them to professionally go out there and find these deals, I'm willing to pay that. So if you're looking to create five, 10, 15, $20,000 checks, just like that, wholesaling is a great place to learn that. So we're going to teach you a little bit more details about that at the three day and how you can start doing that right away. So just want to give some examples, fix and flip. Maybe you don't want to make five to ten thousand dollar checks. You want to make forty, fifty, sixty thousand dollar checks. You have contractors. Maybe you have some experience in general contract work, in what homes need, you know, in design, things like that. Okay, so maybe fix and flip is a good solution. How about the Burr method? Any of you guys know what the Burr method is? I have partners that are doing the Burr method all the day. So it stands for buy, rehab, uh, rent, which means season it, and then uh, you're doing all that with private money, and then you refinance that property, so you cash out the high interest private lender with a long-term bank note um, at a lower rate. And then from there, you can either keep it long-term, uh, but it opens up your options of what you can do. So these are all active strategies for getting into real estate investing. Uh, maybe you want to get into multifamily or land development or, or flipping mobile homes or even buying mobile home parks. Those are all active real estate investment options for you. So that just right there is a ton of different choices and strategies depending on what makes sense for you. So we're going to talk about all this stuff 
on the three-day training. We do spend a lot of time on real estate uh, because of all the advantages to real estate. So why would I want to buy real estate? Why would I want to flip real estate? Why would I want rental property real estate as an active investor? Especially when it gets into land development and multifamily, the tax benefits alone could be worth it. We actually did a training with Justin this last week and Justin was talking about, hey, I do a lot of multifamily apartment complexes. I don't even worry about the profit. Yeah, they're all making money and the profit's nice, but I do them strictly for the tax benefits. So how can you start eliminating taxes from your life so you're keeping more of your money? If you can elim if you can pay less in taxes, allowing you to keep more of your money, what are you then able to do with that money? You can take that money and you can make more money with it. So there's two laws of wealth I want you to write down right now. So write these down. Number one, money in motion. Very, very important. So what do I mean by that? Money in motion. When we have money sitting, it's doing nothing for us. It's losing to one of those three wealth killers, inflation. So we always want to keep our dollars moving. Anytime I have dollars sitting, whether it's in a bank account, whether it's in my own banking um, system, whatever, whether it's in a, a, a tax qualified account known as an IRA, uh, which, which I have Roth, I have traditional, you know, so wh whenever that money's sitting, it's doing nothing for me. So the way I look at it is my money are like little green army men. I want to send those little green army men out there in the world. And then they, they're going to go out there and they're going to dominate and they're going to bring me back the spoils of war, which are more little green army men. So I can start multiplying my money that way, okay? So these are the two laws of wealth that I really, really, really want you guys to understand. Money in motion. So this three-day coming up this weekend, like I said, not only are we showing you how to start controlling your wealth, but we're introducing you to all of these different various opportunities so you can start deploying that money so it can start making more money for you in a very safe and, 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 and eliminating risk as much as possible. That's what it's all about. Lower risk, higher returns. And, and this is what the wealthy do and what we're going to be teaching you uh, this, this weekend on the three-day class. All right. So the second law of wealth, compounding interest. Compounding interest, Albert Einstein called it the eighth wonder of the world. Einstein said, those who understand it, use it. Those who don't pay it. And when you understand the power of compounding returns, you don't want to be the ones paying it. You want to be the ones taking advantage of it. And a great example of compounding interest is if I was to ask you right now, and all of us have heard this example probably, but it's a very classic and it drives the point home. If I was to give you a million dollars today, or I was to give you one penny today that doubled every day for the next month, for the next 30 days, that penny doubles every day. And at the end of the 30 days, you get that sum of money. Would you rather take a million dollars today or that sum of money in 30 days from now? The penny and that sum in 30 days from now. Well, that penny over the course of the next month is going to become over $4 million. So if you were short-sighted and took the, the million dollars today saying, of course, I want a million dollars over a penny. Well, you would have lost out in over $3 million just by not understanding the power of compounding returns. We're going to spend a lot of time on Friday at the three day. The Friday is like mind blowing for people. So we used to just say, you know what? And I'll go ahead and make the offer to everybody right now. If at the end you attend Friday and you're not 100% mind blown, you're like, ah, that was a waste of time. I'm not going to attend Saturday or Sunday. We will give you 100% of your money back. Heck, you can even keep the hat. Okay. So I'll put my, my, money where my mouth is. That's what they say, right? So you attend the three-day class. If the end of the Friday, you're not blown away by it all, give you your money back, keep the hat. Fair enough? So I just wanted to say, because Friday, Chris goes in deep. You know, I was talking about money and opportunity, the markets, how we study this stuff, the different trends, the different cycles right now, the short-term cycles, the long-term cycles, like all this stuff is converging right now into the perfect storm. You look at NASDAQ charts, um, from back in, in past recessions and what they look like today, identical. Like the amount of opportunity coming up over the next year or two when everybody else is losing money, for those of us that understand how to control our wealth and deploy it in these types of investment opportunities, we're going to make a lot of money. And again, I'm not talking about taking advantage of people. Please understand that. I'm talking about creating win-win situations that are going to allow you to make a lot of money for you and your family for the future, while everybody else is going to be stuck in hard economic times because they, they, they 
They did what everybody else did. It's just the way of the world, guys, just the way of the world. And I like to call everybody on here, you're my five percenters. Because 95% of people are going to register for a webinar like this and never attend this free preview. Oh, I know everything. Or my financial advisor has got my best interest in mind. Or you know what? Everyone else has always done a 401k. So I might as well just keep putting my money in the 401k and diversifying in the stock market. It doesn't work, guys. It doesn't work anymore. Especially you look at what happened in 1971. 1971, a lot of things started to change financially in this country. And, and when we look at... The, the, the way that the gaps of things started to happen, real estate prices, inflation, like it's just, it's mind blowing. So we just need to do what the wealthy do, what the banks do, plain and simple. So that's exactly uh, what we're going to talk about during the three-day training. But those two laws of wealth right there, keeping money in motion and taking advantage of uninterrupted compounding interest. So when we talk about becoming your own bank, the infinite banking concept and creating a banking system, I'm not getting into that training tonight. Maybe we can get into some of that tomorrow on the wealth webinar before this weekend. But one of the beautiful things about the infinite banking concept and becoming your own bank using that specially designed and engineered whole life policy is it allows us to take advantage of both of those laws of wealth simultaneously because the money within our policy is growing tax free. The money inside our banking system is growing tax free, compounding uninterrupted every year for the rest of our life. And simultaneously, we can use that money at the exact same time to deploy it out and keep that money in motion. So very, very, very powerful strategy right there. And then once you have control, again, we're going to show you exactly how to start um, implementing that and putting it out there. All right. So let me just hit, uh, hit this real fast. And then what I want to do is, is I got a lot of stuff I want to go into, but I want to get out there what this special offer is. Cause I understand a lot of people hop on and they got to hop off for various reasons. So I don't want to go too long. So I want to give you guys the offer. Those of you that want to get started and then we'll, we're going to keep this training going. Okay. So the mysteries of money, these top three right here. So I've been talking about these taxes, inflation, and volatility. Why am I talking about those? Because those are what we call wealth killers. What do I mean by that? Okay. Well, inflation, inflation is basically going broke slowly. Why is that? Because what a dollar is worth today because of inflation, that dollar is worth tomorrow is worth less tomorrow, next year, the following year, the following year. If you didn't understand how bad inflation erodes wealth, Prior to the last couple of years, I'm sure you know now, right? Inflation has been all over the news. We hit in my lifetime, I'm 40 years old right now. As I sit here today, I'm 40 years old. Inflation last year was the highest it's been in my entire lifetime. It's come down a little bit now, but we're still over two and a half times what the Federal Reserve wants it to be at. The Federal Reserve's goal with inflation is 2% annual inflation. We're sitting over 5% right now, still. Okay, so over the last two years, the combined inflation is in like double digits. So all that means is when you go to the grocery store, it costs more. When you go buy things at the mall, it costs more. When you buy a car, it costs more. Everything that we have is expenses in our lives now costs more. So if stuff costs more and you're making the same amount of money, well, what is the problem? You see the problem there? Okay, so that's what inflation does. So how do we start eliminating inflation? Well, I'll give you one idea right now. We can start eliminating inflation by instead of keeping our dollars in a savings account earning 0 0.01, 0.05% in a savings account at Wells Fargo or Chase Bank or something like that, we can keep our money in our own banking system, especially designed to engineer whole life policy that acts as a banking system for our wealth that at least compounding through company dividends of around 5.5% right now. It's a little bit better than 0.5. And remember that 0.5 in the savings account is simple interest. The five and a half or so through dividends at the insurance company right now are compounding returns. Okay. Remember, we just talked about that. So that's one thing right there. And then keeping money in motion. Keeping money in motion is not losing to inflation because it's making more than inflation. Okay. Number two, volatility. I already mentioned that a little bit. Those stock market, you know, um, ups and downs, even over time. I mean, if we look at the draw, what's called the drawdown effect, where if I make a, if I have a 10% loss, I need to make 12% just to cover that 10% loss. If I lose a 20% loss, I have to make like 30% just to get that 20% loss back. So when we lose money, we got to make substantially more just to get back to even. So volatility, and then not to mention, if you're looking to retire or looking to use that money at a time when the market's down, well, what then? You don't have another three, four, five, six, seven decade to wait for that money to get back to where it was so you can retire. You're going to have to go back to work. 
So volatility is a big, big problem. So again, instead of just blindly throwing darts and diversifying in the market, why not be very wise? And we'll teach you this, how to do this at the three-day, evaluate a deal, lend my money to an experienced entrepreneur that can take that money and grow it at 10, 12, 15% or whatever the case might be. Consistent, predictable returns. Very important, not just for growing wealth, but especially those uh, approaching retirement. Breaking news, this just in. Are you sick of having your money lying around not doing anything? Well, we've got the solution for you. PrivateMoneyClub.com. Back to you, Chris. So here's just a quick example of consistent, predictable returns. So we're gonna teach you in detail how to control your retirement accounts. Okay, so this is just one example right here. So this was Charles and Mary Jones. They were 53 and 55 years old. These were real clients. This has been a number of years now, but these were real clients back in the past. They had 10 years from retirement, $350,000 in their retirement accounts. They were inexperienced at managing investments. They did not want to be active investors. They just wanted to be passive. Um, and so we taught them how to become the bank and create consistent, predictable returns on their wealth. So how do we do that? Well, here's exactly how we did it. We took their principal balance, $350,000, and we had them commit to an additional $13,000 a year contributions into their self-directed retirement accounts, $6,500 a piece. Over the next 10 years, we created a plan where they could lend their money out at 9% annually. Now, those of you in the private money club or experienced at lenders, 9% is on the low side. I'm not really lending in anything less than 12% right now, okay? So just to give you an idea though, you know, always under promise and over deliver. So they decided to lend out at 9% annually um, on their money. So by doing this, following this simple plan right here, and keep in mind, their principal investment lending it out at 9% the entire time was secured by real estate that was worth a lot more than that $350,000 that they were lending out. And why would they do that? Well, they do that because if something goes wrong with that investor, with that person they lent the money to, well, all they can do is take that real estate back and they could sell it to get their principal back. So basically, again, reducing their overall risk that's involved. How do they do that? They do that through mortgages and promissory notes, contracts, just like the banks do. Again, become the bank, okay? We're gonna do just like the banks do. So they're lending their money using mortgages and promissory notes. This is very easy. We're gonna teach you how to do it at the three-day class. And by doing this over the next 10 years, they grew their 350 into just over a million dollars. Now, what are they able to do with that? Well, in retirement, they're able to use that million dollars without ever touching it, continuing to lend it out at 9%. So if we do the math, a million dollars lent out annually at 9% with interest only monthly payments coming back in is $92,000 annually or $7,700 a month. So now they know they have $7,700 a month coming back in just from their retirement savings, you know, not including anything else that they had happening, 7,700 a month consistent and predictable every month without ever touching their nest egg. Now it's not a lot of money, but is enough for them to plan on? Do they know it's going to be there? Absolutely. Because it's consistent and it's predictable. Okay. And this was all tax-free growth as well, because they did this through a Roth self-directed IRA. So I'll teach you the details and how to do that at the three-day, uh, but just wanted to give you one example of what that looks like in the real world. Let me show you the details and the offer that I have for all of you that are on right now for the three-day coming up this weekend. We're going to find out who are the 5% that are on this call right now that are ready to take action? All right, so what are we doing for those of you that are on right now, all right? So we have the three-day training coming up this weekend. It starts Friday morning at 10 a.m. Eastern, all right? So we have the schedule right here. It starts Friday morning, 10 a.m. Eastern. Like I said, all day Friday is Chris and I going in deep about the markets, especially Chris. Chris just takes control. He's going to be drawing on his whiteboard. If you've seen Chris's trainings, you guys will love, 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 love this, all right? And then we have a couple um, experts coming on as well to get into a little bit more depth um, about uh, what are called HELAs, home equity loans, loan agreements, um, self-directed retirement accounts. And we're already on Friday afternoon going to start introducing you to different opportunities, okay? So that's the schedule for Friday. Now, when I say what's a HELA, a home equity loan agreement, well, I'm going to come back to that in just a second. So don't log off. Make sure you stay on because I'm going to talk about that in just a second and how it's how important it is to understand what it is and how to take advantage of it today for what's coming here in the near future. 
So stay with me, all right? Don't go anywhere. But I just want to hit on that. All day Saturday, we're going to kick things off and bring in opportunities. And this is interactive. It's live. You can ask questions. We're going to have the speaker stay on and talk with you guys. So this is going to be a really, really cool training that we have coming. Uh, we'll get into some tax strategies, 1041 tax strategies on Saturday afternoon. Like this is must see stuff. And then on Sunday, we have another full day starting at 10 a.m. Now, this schedule says we go until about 3, 3.30 each day. I just got to warn you, when we get on a roll, we don't stop. So these things typically go a little bit longer, maybe till four or five o'clock, just to give you a warning. Now, if you can't make one of these days, all of these days, some of these days, no worries. We record the entire thing and we go in right when it's done and we timestamp it. So you're like, hey man, I'd love to learn more about what Kevin Shortell, like I, I kind of missed some of it or I want to go back and watch it again. Well, you just pull up the recording. It tells you exactly what time to fast forward to and boom, you can watch a section on Kevin Shortell and note investing, which by the way, by the way, Kevin is one of the sought, most sought after note investors in the entire US, United States of America. Unbelievable guy. If you've never seen him teach and educate before. So much so, he has such a strong reputation. He's been doing these for years with us, but people love him so much. Instead of one hour, we actually give him two hours this time because he's like one of the most popular guys. So he's going to be going, so you can go fast forward right to it. And we give you those recordings each day so you can get caught up on them and you keep those recordings for life. All right. So one of the bonuses that we're going to do for everyone that's on right now is not only are you going to get the recordings for this three day. We're actually going to give you the recordings from the last three day also, just as a bonus. Why? Because the last three day we did is different than this one. Things have changed since then. We have different speakers on that one. So we wanted to give you as a bonus access to those three day recordings as well. And we're going to send you those right away. We'll send you this week so you can get started kind of, you know, educating even more before we start this three-day weekend. So that's one bonus we're going to give everyone that's on right now is access to the three recordings, not only this time, but also the past one. So you can go to the site and check it out yourselves as well. All right. So I put that in the chat box. You got the link there. So you can just click right there. All right. So here's some other bonuses that we're doing. Not only are we doing the recordings, like I mentioned before, everyone that enrolls here while we're going live. So make sure you go over to the moneyschooltraining.com forward slash registration. We're tracking on our little spreadsheet, everyone with the timestamps, everyone that enrolls right now. So go over and enroll in this thing. Uh, before you do it though, make sure you use discount code summer start. So use discount code summer start for 33% off, which is a hundred bucks off. Okay. So use that, but go over there. Everyone that enrolls right now, you can choose. Do you want one of these custom hats? This isn't the design. I got, I, I'll pull it up and say, I got these custom designs made. They're unique just for this three day. Okay. So it's a limited edition, only people enrolling for this three day, either a hat or a sweatshirt. If you want a sweatshirt, a hoodie, tell us what size, what size hoodie, the hats are adjustable. So it's one size. All right. But it's not this hat, but it's a BYOB with a new design. We just came out with limited edition. It says make banking great again. So this is our make banking great again, three day coming up. All right. So we're going to give you all right, so this is 297 bucks, by the way. It's about $5,000 worth of value now um, when I add it all up. So it's 300 bucks, $297. You're going to get $100 off, 33% off. You're going to get the past recordings, these recordings, and you're going to get one of the special limited edition hats or hoodies, your choice. Just put it in the notes box. I'll show you that in just a second. And if anybody needs any questions or if you enrolled and for some reason the discount didn't work or something like that, just email Shauna at chrisnoggle.com. I put that in the chat also. Email Shauna at chrisnoggle.com and we'll take care of you. Don't worry. All right. So what you do is you go over here. You can read all about it. Here's the agenda for the weekend. Um, this TBA right here, we're going to teach you about flipping edge, some software for evaluating real estate deals. And we're going to talk to you about the fractional CFO program. So that's what's going to be in that spot right there. And who, who knows who else is going to hop on this thing? Seem to always have. I have a bunch of testimonials. So you can go on, you can read some of these. But, you know, our, our three day has is, is become a flagship. You can watch the videos. I mean, I literally have probably 100 testimonials from this thing. I think you guys know if Chris and I are putting something on, though, and charging for it, it's going to be the best of the best. All right, so two ninety seven with a hundred dollars off. You can see who some of the different speakers are. You can watch Chris's TED Talk if you haven't seen that yet. This is a really cool video. You guys should check that out. All right, so Greg Hurley is going to be coming on talking about his experience. He's done over a billion dollars in real estate transactions. So we're going to talk about self directed investing with Greg, as well as some things like private funds and wholesaling real estate using self directed IRAs. So really cool stuff. Excited to have Greg back on. 
Brent Carlson is always one of the most popular speakers. He's going to talk to you guys about um, asset protection and tax strategies. He's with Corporate Capital out of Vegas. They do an amazing job. Um, so we're going to start talking about those uh, wealth killers, reducing your tax liability. Um, so Brent Carlson, just so you guys know, we actually have two different tax experts on. Let me see if JP's on here. So I don't have a picture of JP, but JP is going to be on Saturday afternoon and he's going to teach 1041 tax strategies. So any of you that have like 200,000 or so in, in federal taxable liability, uh, meaning you're making around 500,000 or more in like W-2 income typically. But if you have like 150 to $200,000 in, in federal taxable income, JP is going to teach you 1041 tax strategies to start really getting using... Um, charitable foundations and uh, trusts. He's perfect for that. Those of you on that side of the fence, those of you looking just to kind of reduce your tax liability and save on taxes, Brent Carlson's got some really cool strategies for that. So we got, again, both sides of the coin covered, no matter where you're starting right now today. So Matt Sullivan will be on with Quantum RE talking about those HELAs, home equity loan agreements, Shortel, Spencer Montgomery. We're gonna talk a little bit about crypto, what's going on with the crypto markets. Uh, Noah's an expert at private money lending, um, and his wife's an expert at uh, mobile home park investing. So they're going to talk about real estate, both passive and active. Uh, I got Mike and Mike. Um, they're going to teach you guys wholesaling and start getting into a little bit about fix and flips, as well as turnkey rentals. We got Justin coming on talking about um, masterminds and the power of networking, as well as the power of uh, hedge funds and algorithmic trading. So uh, Justin's uh, got some really cool things he's going to be talking about. And we don't have all of our speakers on here, but like I said, we have a bunch of other really cool uh, speakers and experts coming on as well. All right. So just some other bonuses. We're going to give you um, access to the file vault. Uh, and this is one of the most valuable ones right here. Number four, we're going to give you a one-on-one -on -one consultation uh, with one of our money mentors. So I'll say this over the three days, you're going to learn a lot, not only on how to control your wealth, but on a lot of opportunities for deploying and, and taking advantage of different investments out there. And so for a lot of people, yes, you have the recordings to go back and learn in your notes, but a lot of people want to kind of talk through their situation. All right. So for everybody that's attending the course, I please, I want you guys to write this down as you're going through this preview tonight, wealth webinar tomorrow past recordings leading up to the three day this weekend, and then all three days this weekend, please start writing down where you are today. Okay, I want you to evaluate where's my money. So let me get into this real fast. Okay. So over the three day, I want you to start thinking about where is your money? All right. Cause we're going to talk about different sources of income. Let me hit that right now with you. So maximizing your dollars, when you make money, how do we keep more of that money and multiply that money to be able to achieve our goals quicker and achieve success, whatever that looks like for you. So it's, it's not rocket science. That's the beautiful thing. All we're going to do is mimic again, strategies that have been used for over 200 years. Uh, then we're going to teach you exactly what to do. Okay. So let me give you some examples of that. If we want to look at what the 95% do versus what the 5% do. The 95% seem to keep their money in, in cash under a mattress, in a lockbox, maybe in a, a checking account at the bank or a savings account that pays like 0.01%. That's what the 95% do. Is that any of you on the call right now? Your money's in checkings accounts and savings accounts and traditional things like that? Well, what entrepreneurs and the wealthy do is we keep our money in things like business accounts. Why? Because that would mean that we have a business. Well, businesses allow us to take a lot of tax deductions that somebody that does not have a business does not. So if you do not already have an LLC, well, we'll get you an LLC. We have an offer right now. We can get you a complimentary LLC with some tax strategies happening. So we have a lot of different things we can do that. So this is what you want to be smart. Okay, where's your money now? If it's just sitting and checking in your savings accounts, well, you need to be smarter about that. Maybe have that business where we keep money there. Maybe, or if you want to do what the wealthy do, what we're going to teach you to do, we're going to keep our money in our own banking system. What is our own banking system? Well, it's at the bottom right here. The infinite banking concept was known as the money multiplier. This is where we're going to take a whole life insurance policy. We're going to hack it up and we're going to design it to become the bank. That whole life policy becomes the vehicle used to create your banking system. So why would I want to store my money in there instead of a checking account at, at Wells Fargo or Chase? Well, because Wells Fargo or Chase, my money doesn't grow 0.1%, 1%. 1%. 
And when I take the money out, it grows at zero. Well, in my banking system, my money's compounding uninterrupted tax-free, and I can still use that money to deploy to make more money simultaneously. So which one sounds better to you? So that's one small thing every single one of you can do right now. Step number one, make one change. Where's your money go first? Someone else's bank or your banking system? Plain and simple, start there, one thing, okay? Then where else is our money and where else do we have access to money? If anybody owns a house and you've owned it for longer than a few years, odds are you have equity in that home. So can we tap into that equity? So we do that through either a HELOC, an all-in-one mortgage, or a HELOC, a home equity loan agreement. So on Friday, we're going to talk what are the pros and cons of each one of those. And when we're leveraging bank money from a bank, when we are leveraging money, should we use a conventional bank? Should we use a community bank? Should we use a, a credit union? Should we tap into a HELOC or a HELA or an all-in-one? What are the pros and cons of all of these and what works for your situation? So if I have $100,000 in equity available to me, why would I not tap into that? If even at 7% right now, let's say that you're getting charged 7% in a HELOC, but I loan that money out on a 15% private loan. Well, what am I creating right there? I'm creating what's called a spread. I'm creating an 8% spread. Well, at $100,000, an 8% spread is $8,000 a year. Not a lot of money, but that's about, what is that? About 650 bucks a month, maybe? What's $8,000 divided by 12? Let's say it's seven, 700 bucks a month. Well, what is 700 bucks a month? That might be a car payment. Okay, so all of a sudden, your house that otherwise is doing nothing for you except letting you live in it is now paying for the car, that brand new car that's sitting in your driveway. Not bad. So being smart about it, leveraging when we can, taking advantage of everything we can take advantage of. What do the 95% of people in this country do with their retirement accounts? Well, they put it in 401ks. They let financial advisors do it. It's all in the stock market. Even if you have like a TD Ameritrade account where you're investing yourself, you're picking your own investments, it's still the stock market. What do the 5% do? What do the wealthy do? We do what's called self-directed retirement investing. So we'll teach you that on Friday also, how to transfer your money to a self-directed account, no tax penalties or fees or anything like that. You're just moving it from one uh, custodian broker to another, that's all. And now you have control of it. Now we can do like um, Charles and Mary Jones that I showed you a minute ago, get those consistent, predictable returns for the rest of your life. So let's start doing what the 5% do. So with our retirement dollars, our qualified funds, make sense? So again, we're going to show you on Friday exactly how to start doing that. So we're going to start tapping into where is your money and how do we be smarter about that? Because every single dollar that you earn should either be in a, a tax advantaged account. It should be in an account that's getting uninterrupted tax-free compounding growth. It should be, if possible, leveraged out to make more money and deployed smartly. But this is what we can start doing easily, safely, and smartly. All it takes is a little bit of education few days of, of learning on your side, maybe a phone call with myself or one of my money mentors to talk through your situation and how to start deploying this money and, and doing what the wealthy do. So that's why we do that complimentary consultation. But during the three days, it's going to be up to you to start writing down. What debts do I have? Do I have credit card debt? What's the interest? What's the, what's the monthly payment? We got to start tackling that first. And then how can we start taking advantage of everything else here that you see on the screen to be smart about it, start multiplying our money, keeping more of those dollars that we make. Does that make sense to everybody? So then when it comes to the mysteries of money and why people aren't more successful, these three wealth killers, taxes, inflation, and volatility, they're out the window. Those are no longer excuses. Those are just things that we're doing on a daily basis to avoid, to get rid of, to eliminate from our lives. And then the three bottom, you know, this is a lot of just mindset stuff. So, you know, one of the other bonuses I'm going to give everybody right now on the call, for those of you that are enrolling, we're going to give you a couple eBooks, digital copies of books. Um, so I have them on my shelf back here. Uh, so the private money guide and mapping out the millionaire mystery. If you don't already have those books and you want them, I'll send everybody that's on right now that wants them. We'll give them to you guys, all right? So we'll put that in the email. So those of you that are registering for the three-day, I'm going to give you those also included as bonuses. Um, the private money guide and mapping out the millionaire mystery. Why? Because I want you to really start embracing this. You got to change your mindset a little bit to, to fully be able to uh, be prepared to move forward and take advantage of everything um, that's coming. So, those, so that's what we got going on here this weekend and, and some of the stuff that I wanted to go over here with tonight with you guys. So if you go over to Money School, 
training.com forward slash registration. Use the promo code summer start, all one word, summer start. That'll give you the discount 33% off, 100 bucks off. It'll allow you to get either the hat or the hoodie. It'll give you last three days recordings as well as the recordings for this one. It'll get you the consultation uh, with myself or one of my money mentors so we can help you start implementing this um, and the money back guarantee. If you're not happy, mind blown by Friday at the end of the day, 100% money back, no problem, All right? So that's everything that you're gonna get. So if anybody has any questions, put those in the Q and I'll hit those right now. All right, so Joe said, what if I need the funds to invest? Joe, if you need funds to invest, uh, we're gonna teach you on Saturday how to raise money, how to raise private money. So Noah's gonna come on and teach you how to do communication and ask for the money and how to set that up. And if you know how to do this, whether you're borrowing from, and, and Greg Hurling will teach you on Friday how to start using qualified money, borrowing qualified money. There, there's trillions of dollars out there in, re, in qualified funds. 96% of people don't even know that they can use their retirement funds to do private money lending. So Joe, if you need money for real estate deals, anything like that, if you can tap into that market, which will teach you how to do this weekend, you'll never, you'll never need for money again. You'll have people wanting to give you more money than you can go out there and do deals. William said, I would like to use my home equity to start. Is this a good idea and how to pay it back at the same time? Yeah, William, um, you know, you could tap into that. What I would recommend is hopping on the call with a, con you know, do a consultation with one of my many mentors and they can talk to you about the pros and cons about using something like leveraged money uh, to dump into a policy to kind of jumpstart it with a dump in. Um, as long as you know what you're doing and you know the downside risk of doing that and you're ready to deploy the money, you know, it can be a good idea. Absolutely. So it's more of a, you know, what is your situation though? Let's talk through it uh, with one of the many mentors, but absolutely. C said, I've been trying to parse the pros and cons of a whole life versus an IUL. Everything I've seen is that IULs are an improved version. Um, yeah. So IULs are not a, a great vehicle for the infinite banking concept and warehousing your wealth. Uh, they have some, they have a quote unquote zero floor, but they also have a lot more fees and cost of insurance and it increases over time. Um, so there's a lot more risk involved with IULs. And so when we want to warehouse our wealth, becoming the bank, we want our money to be warehoused in a low cost, low fee as possible environment where it's guaranteed growth no matter what happens with the economy, recession, stock market, our money's always compounding and growing very consistently. And then whenever, I, if I want to play the markets or I want to take on the risk, I'm going to do so myself by using that money and deploying it out in things that I understand. So there's higher costs, higher fees, rising cost of insurance. Um, the, the agent usually gets a ton of commissions on IULs. We make like typically like 90% less commission on a specially designed whole life policy, um, than, a, than an IUL agent would make doing an IUL for you. So there's a lot of reasons we don't use IULs. I would never own one. I would never use one that way. Um, so those are some of the reasons we have done some really cool videos, uh, with IUL agents and people that own IULs versus whole life when it comes to infinite banking. If you want to email me, I'm happy to send you those links. Just email me snaggy snaggy at chrisnoggle.com or at the private money club or at the money multiplier, whatever email you have. But here, I'll put it in the chat box. My email is right there. Okay. So if you email me, I'm happy to send you over those uh, IUL videos if you want to learn more and get really in depth with it. All right. I have a promissory note from a guy who owes me money and found out it means nothing in real estate. I would have to issue him a 1099 and delete the IRS, go after him. Uh, Ernest, yeah, when you do any kind of private money lending on a real estate deal, you always want to use a couple different instruments. Um, so you always want to have a mortgage or a deed of trust, depending on the state that you're in. And you also want to have a promissory note that's uh, lays out the terms, but that has to legally be tied to that mortgage. And then that entire package does need to be recorded at the courthouse uh, to make it official. Without all of that combined, uh, yes, it can be useless. You're right. 
And so that's why we really, really, really recommend to get educated in things like private money lending and private money borrowing before you just dump into jump into them. Because even if you're lending to a friend or family member, how many of you know that like friendships or family relationships have been destroyed over money? It's a sad thing, but it happens all the time. And so when you have things on paper done the right way every single time, it eliminates all of that out of the equation. And so you would have the recourse needed if you had done that properly from the start earnest to the point where we even teach how to get like things like personal guarantees where you, you know, or even things like where, you know, where it's built into the mortgage, where if they don't oblige by the terms of it, it, it automatically transfers you the deed to the property without even having to go through foreclosure. So there's different things like that, that you can do to protect yourself even more. So very, very important. I'm glad you brought that up, Ernest. So these are things we'll start teaching you about at the three days. So make sure you join us uh, this weekend to learn more about that. David said, do we get the bonus training if we signed up during the first part? Yes, David, we're giving, um, if you're our last preview or this one, uh, this is something uh, we decided to do for both of these events. Absolutely. Anna said, are you going to market other coaching programs at the webinar? Uh, no, we don't have any other coaching programs um, through Money School. Uh, some of the different opportunities that we're introducing you to, they might, for instance, like um, Kevin Shortell with Note Investing, he has a lot of notes that he's going to teach you what you can do with them and how to buy them and get you access to all that. But if you want like to dig into like, mentoring and having them as like a one-on-one -on -one coach, there is an additional cost, but Chris and I don't have any additional coaching. So like, we don't have like a money school, like, um, you know, one-on-one -on -one coaching with like Chris and me, or we don't have that, or, you know, come to another event, something like that. We do put on, um, what's called the money multiplier experience three times a year, which is more of a um, high-end mastermind, uh, that we do. The next one's in August, for example, in Las Vegas, or in excuse me, in October in Las Vegas, where we like race cars and go to shows and gamble together and stuff like that. But uh, no, we don't like having like big packages, like some of those, um, you know, other companies like 30, 40, $50,000 pack. Like, no, we don't have anything like that. No. Uh, Karen said, I'm lost with terminology. My field is chemistry. I understand completely, Karen. Uh, that is why, you know, tonight, it, these previews are hard to do because we have an hour together. And obviously this is a lot of information. And so that's why the three day, we take our time. We spent all day Friday going into this. We're answering questions the entire time. The speakers, you know, will be able to kind of boil it down for you. Uh, but I do understand Karen, and, but I will say you are not alone. The large majority of our students and clients, when they first started learning about this and following and getting in our campfire, knew nothing also. This was way above their heads especially when we start getting into things like mortgages and promissory notes and some of the real estate terminology like burring and wholesaling. And so don't worry, Karen, but I promise you that through the three days, along with the consultation and ongoing support and webinars that you'll be attending um, included with all this for free, uh, you will start to learn this. And then, like I said earlier, very important baby steps. Remember a baby, when you're a baby, you have to learn to crawl before you, well, really you learn how to just sit up straight, right? And then once you can sit and keep your head up, you learn to crawl and then you learn to walk and then you learn to run. And then once you learn that, you can do marathons and Ironmans and, and everything else out there. It's a beautiful thing. So you got to start somewhere though. And I will say the money school three day essentials this weekend is 100% the place to start. So hopefully you bought a ticket and we'll see you there. Kim said, how are you guys different from the Nelson Nash Institute? Yeah, great. Good question. So everything we're, we're part of the Nelson Nash Institute. Uh, we're licensed advisors. We do business with them. Uh, we attend their think tank every single year and uh, we believe in everything that they do. Um, so when it comes to the infinite banking concept, that is what we teach. The same thing as the Nelson Nash Institute and uh, we love them. Uh, so what this is, Money School Essentials is infinite banking as well as the rest of the financial world, what we call it alternative investing, but it goes back to the three pillars, real estate, money, legacy. How do we do real estate actively, passively be smart? How do we take advantage of our money? Like I showed on the screen before, eliminating the wealth killers, the sources of money. We all make money. How do we keep more of that money? 
and multiply that money. And then legacy. So over time, how do we build generational wealth? How do we create that legacy for our family and the people that are important to us in our lives? And so that's the foundation of what we do with Money School and with these three-day trainings. So we just take the Nelson Nash Institute and really grow on all of that. But I, lo I love what they do over there, Kim. Thanks for asking that question. Albert, what is the maximum one-time funding of a policy? So you wouldn't do a one-time funding, but we can do like a 10 to one. So if you want to do like $100,000 the first year, you could support that with, let's say like 10 to $12,000 a year going forward. So you're not going to just stick one big lump in and never put more money in, but you would never want to do that because every time you put money in, it becomes more and more cons um, efficient over time. And so your money has to go somewhere. Somewhere. So if I can start a policy today and in six years from now, I put $10,000 into that and the next day I can pull $13,000 out, like why wouldn't I do that? So when we're creating a banking system and you really understand the infinite banking concept, you're going to be asking me, how do I put more money in later on? Not how do I put little or no money in? So it's just one of those things where Albert, you got to learn a little bit more, but um, good question. But we can front load it and put a lot more money in up front in year one to jump start it and get access to a lot more money to pull right back out immediately to use to deploy out, out there. Great questions, guys. I love everything about them. I will need to go over this again. What was that about the promissory note I was talking about? Uh, Ernest had another follow-up question on that one. Oh, I think sorry. specifically with Ernest, I, I would go to a real estate lawyer and just take a look at it. So the promissory note is actionable, but because you don't have the mortgage, you can't foreclose. That That's the critical part. Whenever anyone hears mortgage, they think it's just the note. There's just one document. There's actually a couple of documents involved in it. So Ernest, if you're in this situation, I would recommend going to a real estate lawyer. There's probably some way that they can get this. Um, it's just going to be a bit more of a pain than if you had a kind of a properly set up um, situation with a mortgage. So I'm just going to throw it out there. Um, it's definitely a lawyer situation and it will be worth it in the long run to pay a lawyer to look over it for you. You still have a contract. That's the the promissory note. Darius said, what's the minimum to start with? It's up to you, Dare, whatever you want to do. No minimums. All right. Small steps. Yeah. Tess said small steps and you will get the language. Absolutely. Is there a max deposit? Uh, just like 10 to one, David, that's all. Tim said, instead of a 401k for my staff, is there an option to do smaller policy for the staff member? Yeah, we can do COLE policies. We could talk about some different things. So Dick Kim, definitely schedule a call and we can definitely go through that with you. Oddly enough, you were not the first person to ask that. Um, I remember Chris and I a couple of years ago went down to do a presentation um, in Pennsylvania to do that with somebody who was like, hey, I can give my company 401k, or I can give all my employees a 401k, and I really don't want to do that. I just don't think they're a great investment. So how do we get this done with uh, infinite banking and had you know, brought in, you know, uh, had us all in a meeting one day. It was a great idea. So yeah, awesome idea, Kim. If anybody needs me, it's snagy at chrisnoggle.com or whatever email that you might have. So here's some different uh, testimonials. So this was Jeff, just if anybody of you are, any of you are still considering, you know, is this right for you or not? This is, um, this was from the last three days. So Jeff said, five stars, Chris and Stephen bring their A game to these events. The wealth of information shared is staggering. The list of speakers are top notch. who are also the experts in their field. I learned so much and was able to implement my financial game plan with family and asset protection trusts, BYOB policies, corporate structures, and more. This event weaponized my own arsenal to grow my businesses and generational wealth beyond what I was doing before. I am now helping others who are looking for this type of structure as well. Take the time to join and get ready to learn new things. That's a great review, Jeff. The, uh, Dwayne said the three-day virtual event was awesome. It opened my eyes to untapped resources. I had and never thought or knew about leveraging old 401ks and lazy equity in my home. In fact, I would say life-changing for me. I'm currently working on my fourth private money deal and a fifth in the works. Uh, if all goes accordingly, the event was a boost and motivating factor to putting everything in motion and giving me the confidence that I was doing it correctly. I hope to be able to attend a live event or two in the near future. Thanks for all you do. Tess, are you sure to read Tess's? This is a long one. I should just send you guys this. Tess is so great. Hi, Tess. My name is Andrew Zagleski, and I just want to say that the three-day virtual event that the Money School puts on is top-notch. There's always tons of value, and Chris and Steven really know how to bring it. So if you're ready to start drinking the Kool-Aid and getting <laughs> around the campfire with these guys, I would highly, highly advise it. I love it. He's even got the hat. I don't think I've seen that one before. Hey, this is Mark Hall. I uh, attended a couple of the three-day events, uh, the one back in November 22, and then also the more recent one in February of 23. 
and uh, I was on a little bit of it live, but uh, primarily I got the replays, uh, which were delivered, I mean, I'd say within 24 hours by Shauna, uh, and those were great. I could go back at my own convenience and watch and take notes, uh, just incredible uh, amount of information. I mean, it was well worth it. I set up a self-directed IRA with Horizon Trust with both uh, for both my wife and myself. Uh, I set my wife up with a, a policy. Uh, I already had previously had one through a different company, which, uh, you know, unfortunately I wish I would have uh, found out about you guys a little bit sooner, but, you know, better late than never. Uh, I'm in the process of trying to get uh, our kids set up uh, with policies. Uh, I've been working with Joe on setting up a HELOC and in the final stages of that. I've had some great success with Justin from Kearns Capital. Uh, just incredible, the performance we're seeing with his hedge fund there. Uh, I've also been working with the uh, the Fullers, getting ready uh, with that HELOC, getting ready to lend to them. So, I mean, just all this information you guys bring, whether it's through those uh, three-day events or on the, the Wednesday webinars, I, I just cannot speak, you know, enough about, you know, what incredible information and how great it's been to be part of this uh, family of just like-minded individuals. So highly recommended, highly informative, just, you know, from everyone, you know, everyone's been just, you know, super helpful to work with and I can't recommend you guys enough. So uh, highly recommend the three-day event and uh, really looking forward to you guys coming down to, uh, to Tampa here for a live event. All right. Thanks a lot. All right. One more. We got Tess. Here we go. Well, this is a long one, Tess. Hi, my name is Tess and I thought I would go live and give you guys my experience with the three day virtual events for PMC slash money school. And when I started to think about this, I had to go back. I had to go back about three years because at the time that we went into lockdown, I was determined to stay engaged in life. And I believe, I can't confirm exactly, but I believe I've attended every single three day event since the time that I was first introduced to this group about three years ago. And it was probably one of the greatest gifts I gave myself because I learned to live life differently. I learned to manage my money differently. I learned to engage differently. I do come from a very strong finance background. I've got, I've been preparing insurance company financial statements for a very, very long time. But what I wanted to do is I thought, what's the best way to kind of say why this is so important to me? Relationships, number one. You connect with people, you can change each other's lives, you can help each other. But then I thought, what are the actual like material things? You know, relationships are huge, but what are the things that maybe some people are looking for also on top of the relationships? And number one for me is that in this time, I've put three of the IBC, the infinite banking concept policies together. Two of them are in year three. The third one will be in year three in a very short span of time. I've opened a business. I truly believe that everybody should open a business because there's usually something that you have a passion about or something you want to learn about or something that you can move your family forward. And it, it, it is a business that you can move forward. For me, this has been a great gift. I also studied and have a working knowledge of real estate. I didn't have that before. So it was through this group and getting engaged and finding out books to read and seminars to follow and things to learn about that it helped me to get involved in it. I actually am now uh, private lending. I've lent on 11 deals, four have completed, returned, and I reinvested the money. I've also studied note purchasing. Note purchasing is like an offshoot or a branch of the real estate business. And I actually, I really kind of enjoyed that. I have enjoyed that because it gave me a new perspective of the contracts. And I, I am a geek. I studied law for a period of time. I'm not a liar. You won't ever claim that. But I actually loved learning that side of it because it kind of came together with the lending side and gave me more confidence. Um, I've attended every experience mastermind that has been in existence and the relationships, the mentors, the coaches, the people that you can connect with, it will change your life. I love being with those people. I consider them the family that I've chosen and I enjoy seeing what they've accomplished in their life and see how I can in, in include it in my own life. I am actually learning to be a professional speaker, which is totally not what anyone would have ever thought for me through somebody that I met at this campfire, these masterminds over uh, probably about a year until finally I decided to jump in and do it. But the thing, the beautiful thing about all of it is it's not done. It's just starting. The relationships continue to build stronger. You meet new people. You learn more skills. You find another avenue that maybe you can participate and leave the world a little better as you participate it, but also leave your own world a little better. It's 
brought me more happiness, more joy to be truly engaged and managing things for my own life. I left the W-2 world behind just a few short months ago. And that is something that was always in the back of my mind, but I was scared to death to do. And I don't operate from fear now anymore. I know that at any point in time, I will just take a look at where I'm at and pick another branch until I find exactly the right path. I am more confident now than I've been in a very long time. And I want to see that for you. My biggest, biggest recommendation would be attend a three-day event. Pick one thing, just one thing, and pursue it. It may be the most beautiful thing that you can't let go of, or it may tell you that there's a little bit of a different detour, or I'm not even going to say that. There might be an offshoot branch that you have to go down until you find the next best, best thing. Everything I've learned, I don't pursue right now. Um, will I come back to it at some point in time? Possibly. But it's been enjoyable because it all comes together to create the big picture and the picture is going to look different tomorrow and I'm okay with that because I'm enjoying this journey so I hope that you'll decide to join us just spend that three days be live as much as you can interact create the relationships and then let's see where it can lead you and maybe little by little we can leave this world a little better for the next person and if you decide to join in I'll see you there thanks thanks for Jess. all right cool guys with that being said, if anybody wants to learn more about the three-day before you get signed up or just want to continue to learn more about what we do at Money School and the Money Multiplier and the Private Money Club and BYOB, baby, uh, we do have a full uh, lineup of webinars tomorrow, uh, which are all free each week, each and every Wednesday. So that looks like at 9.30 a.m. Eastern, we kick off with what's called WTF Happened, uh, where Chris and I rant and rave about the stock market and different policy decisions and news going on and kind of bring you an update on what's happening uh, in the news each week. So you can watch that on the YouTube channels or on Facebook. Uh, so go find myself or Chris on Facebook. The YouTube channels are at the Chris Noggle and at Private Money Club. So you can live stream those at 930 on any of those channels. At 1 p.m. Eastern, we have the weekly wealth webinar Wednesday. Uh, tomorrow's going to be really good. Chris and I are going to get deeper into stuff we were talking about tonight a little bit. Uh, we'll probably get into some money multiplier and infinite banking concept. So you can join that. Go to chrisnoggle.com. Just go down the page a little bit. You'll see register for Wealth Webinar Wednesday. And then uh, 4.30 p.m. 4.30 p.m. tomorrow Eastern, uh, we have an Ask Me Anything Happy Hour where the money multiplier mentors get together. Uh, sometimes we grab a beer, sometimes we don't, but we have a good time nonetheless and just answer all your questions for an hour. So it's literally question and answer for an hour with the Money Multiplier team. So that's every Wednesday. Um, and the Ask Me Anything is also live streamed on the YouTube channels and our Facebook pages. So go check that stuff out. For the rest of you, uh, we will see you Friday morning, 10 a.m. Eastern for the kickoff of the Money School 3-Day Essential Summer 2023 class and uh hopefully you guys got registered tonight because these new limited edition byob hat designs make banking great again are super dope you're definitely going to want one the only way to get one is by registering for the class uh and being there this weekend so thanks everybody for being here tonight good to see you all we'll see you guys soon have a great evening thanks see you andrew all right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. We're putting up tons of them, but I think if you like this one, you'll probably like that video as well. Not only that, I've got a book that I created, Mapping Out the Millionaire Mystery, where we actually show you what the wealthy do in the game they play with money. I want you to have that for free. And if you wanna know about all my new videos coming up, click that alert button, actually smash that alert button, and you'll be notified every time we put a new video. So we'll see you on the next episode.